Hi Gemini, welcome to your September 2022, 2022, yes, 2022 general tarot reading. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining me and taking your time to watch this video today. I hope there is something in here that will be helpful. All right, Gemini, let us begin. This is for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. We're going to open up with getting you a major arcana, and then I will move into the Celtic cross. All right, so let's begin. Spirit, show me clearly. This energy is a, of major arcana will be energy that you can really work with over the month of September. Uh, Virgo season is right around the corner here. Or actually, we are in it at this moment. I'm doing this the last week of August. Okay, show me clearly. What messages do you have for our beautiful Gemini? What messages? Show me clearly, please. We have the devil. All right, this is Capricorn's card that has come out. The devil is an interesting energy to come out as a major arcana that you could be working with, could also be representing energy that is around you here. The devil is that, um, well, two ways. This is an energy where you may be struggling with some kind of um, a personality that is around you, I'm picking up on, that has a lot of control over you. There's something here that is keeping you, um, someone is wanting you to kind of stay under their, in their clutches, is what I'm feeling. The devil represents addictions. It represents toxic behaviors. Uh, it can also sometimes speak of a lot of passion, you know? Um, the devil doesn't always have to be this insinuation that, you know, it's really, really negative. At times, if there's something that you're doing, that you're focused on, that you love, that you're trying to really um, bring into your life in the 3D world, you can become very, very passionate. And that in itself can then kind of like almost, it's, it can verge on the unhealthiness because you might throw yourself, say, into it, like, you know, out of 24 hours, you're working on something for 20 hours, you know, and you're becoming exhausted in that way. Um, so we're going to get into the Celtic cross and see how this is applying for you. But this is also an indication that there could be someone or a situation that is almost keeping you in bondage. Okay. All right. Let's get into the Celtic and see what's going on. All right. For Gemini. Air sign, month of September, 2022. Show me clearly, please. Beautiful spirit guides, show me clearly. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Yeah, okay, all right. Wow, we have the Ace of Swords. Here's this clarity coming towards you. This is the position of you. Uh, in the present. Now, this might not be where you are at this moment, Gemini, but it is where you're going. And it is your uh, element. It's swords. It's this clarity, this aha moment, the light coming on, seeing very clearly and being able to really get focused on the direction you're wanting to go. It is crossed with the four of wands. Okay, this is your challenge here. All right. Your past justice, fellow air sign, Libra showing up here. Future, queen of wands. What is above you, the knight of pentacles? Below, ace of wands. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay. Advice from spirit is the wheel. Oops. Outside influence, two of wands. Hopes or fears, five of pentacles. Oh, wow. But the outcome, the emperor. And the bottom of the deck is five of wands. Okay. All right. I'm seeing what's happening here. All right. We have, as I said, the ace of swords. There is a new start for you. But let's begin with the past. We have justice showing up. Libra's card as I spoke. Somewhere in your past, in your recent past, I feel that there was a need to hear the truth. There was a need to find out the truth. Um... I am picking up on something that was not shown to you. There was something that was hidden that you were trying to find your way, trying to find your answers. Now, perhaps that is why the devil is showing up, because this could be a person that you were involved with, and they might have been trying to keep a lot of control over you. It could be um, about your finances. It could be that they were trying to keep you stuck, 
um, in a relationship with them. It could even be a job that you might have been stuck in. But there's an energy here where a truth need to be told um, and um, a wrong needed to be righted. very interesting because it feels though as if and you know this could even be some kind of a legal matter that you had gone through um, in the recent past where there was a justice or a judgment call made and you know I'm picking this up that someone might not have been very happy with what the judgment was um, so perhaps they're trying hard to keep you stuck Someone is, I, I'm feeling like someone is trying to keep some kind of control over you. That's, that's really what they're giving me here. Um, and when I look at the bottom of the deck, we have the five of wands. So five of wands is all that, uh, you know, arguing and drama and just, it's like that, God, I hate that kind of energy. It's just so not healthy. Um, but I feel like that is attached to the devil here. I feel whoever or whatever the devil is for you, it is attached. Um, there's a lot of even competition for some for some of you out here. So justice is there in the past, but yet it's almost like it's still linking to, It's it, there's still some kind of worry and fear that you are experiencing here because we have the Five of Pentacles and it is showing up in your hopes or your fears position. So it's like, it's like you're worried that this person may be able to get a lot from you and keep you in a lack position. Some of you, this is involving what was once a committed relationship because it's the four of wands that is crossing the ace of swords. And so this is the position of challenge for you. So for a lot of you guys, this could be that you were in some committed relationship and, and it um, broke apart, broke down. And yet they're still kind of trying to keep you in their clutches. I keep hearing that. Um, Four of Wands is my marriage card. So, you know, it could be that there was a breakdown in a, a marriage and, you know, maybe there was some legal stuff that had to be dealt and someone still has some kind of control over you here. And it does feel like it is attached to your pentacles. Um, because we have the Knight of Pentacles here, we also have the Five of Pentacles, which is the worry, the lack, the, you know, I, I'm terrified that I'm, I'm gonna lose everything kind of energy. Um, you know, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So what is above you is the Knight of Pentacles. So it is like there's a need for you to really take this nice and slow to really kind of make sure, especially if there's some kind of legal contract or something going on with the legal system, it is really important for you to make sure that you are taking things slow and making sure that you are not missing anything. Like read between the lines on everything here and move cautiously forward is what I want to say to you. You are going to have this complete awakening. Now, I don't know if there's some answers that you're waiting to receive here yet still connected with the Justice card, but you are going to be receiving them. There's going to be a shift in the way that you're seeing everything, Gemini. Um, and what you're not aware of yet is when you have this new awakening, this new way of thinking, this new clarity of moving forward, you are also then going to have this new beginning in your passions, in your the way that you actually conduct yourself in life. Ace of Wands is also my green light card, and I don't think you see it yet because it is unconscious. It's in the position of representing what you are not seeing yet. So it's almost like right now I'm feeling like you're kind of in a little bit of state of limbo, and someone may have some power over you. Now, let's go back to what I was talking about at the very beginning because they did give that to me. Some of you might have been working your butt off, right? And you've thrown a lot of energy into a, maybe a business, you know, um, something like that. And there is gonna be this need for you to let your hair down um, and have some fun because of the four of wands. So two different storylines I'm getting here. Some of you guys are, have gone through some kind of a battle and someone wants to keep you still under their control and I do feel finances are very much in, um, a part of it. And others of you, you are actually working really, really hard to try and bring some kind of success towards you because you don't want to, you know, have not enough money, not enough resources here, but you could be burning the wick at both ends because you're throwing yourself so far into it that they are saying you are going to need to have a little bit of a fun 
you know have a little bit of fun you you need to it can't be all work and no play I do feel for the majority of you though that this is saying that there's someone in your life in your vicinity that has caused a lot of drama heartbreak um, and they are not happy with how the situation has unfolded but you don't need to worry about that because that is not your karma that is theirs so if you can stay focused and stay in alignment with who you are and what you truly want in your life, you will receive it. Two aces, two new beginnings. When we look at your future, it's the queen of wands. And that is gorgeous because she is like, uh, she is so adorable. She is so passionate. She really believes in herself, very confident. Um, and she, it, it, she expects to receive what she wants, what she's putting her energy into. So I feel like you are going to really be fulfilled um, and you are going to be, I'm almost getting this boss energy here though. So um, for some of you guys, yeah, like you're gonna get your rewards for sure with the queen of wands being here in your future position. And we have the emperor in the outcome. So it's like, I feel like I need to say as long as you can see clearly and as long as you can stay really focused on your path the devil energy will not be able to have any kind of say now let's go to what advice is from spirit we have the wheel of fortune I do feel like the tide is turning for you I do feel that things are really going to start to pick up speeds picking up um, beautiful things are definitely coming towards you especially with the Emperor on top I mean these are two major arcanas um, so it's like spirit is saying, you know, the wheel of fortune is changing for you. And also you are going to be on top. You are going to be on top of this, not the other person. So really powerful here. When we look at outside influence, we do have the two of wands. So it's like, there's a contemplation happening here. Um, there's something you're thinking about. I mean, we've got like, we've got a lot of fire showing up. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five fire cards here. So, Again, this could be a re the relationship, a, a relationship that didn't work out, that broke down, um, and you are getting your independence back. There is a little bit of concern though. There's still a bit of worry, but that's only in your, your, your mind here. This isn't really, this is not representing that total outcome. The outcome is getting, you're gonna be the emperor. You win. You are sitting at the top. Again, they keep giving this to me, like on the top, on the top. Um, you win. Wow, man, what is this about? I mean, I don't know. It's going to be different for all of you. Um, but what you do, what I do know here is, is that there's great success coming towards you. If there has been some kind of court ruling or something like that, you are winning the emperor. You know, this is Aries card as well. You might have an Aries placement, Gemini, or you might be dealing with someone like that. But I think I mean, the devil is Capricorn, but I mean, look, I mean, there are a lot of people out there that can be, be like the devil energy, right? The toxicity kind of energy, the wanting all the control kind of energy. But you know what? They don't win. You are in control of your life at the end of this, at the end of this cycle, whatever this is that you are going through. You are at top. You actually are able to sit back and really breathe and be free and have, I feel peace, peace finally. Okay, so I'm not going to keep going. I want to go into um, getting some clarifiers. Yeah, we have the seven of wands underneath the five of wands. This is about you keeping, keeping yourself protected. This devil energy could be threatening you, could be saying, you know, and if th this could even be about your work, right? There could be some kind of a weird legal thing going on there. Um, but it's about you just standing up for yourself here and not allowing anyone to plow you over with, their threats. Wow, that's just, I mean, if someone's, oh my God, and you know, I shuffle off camera. We have the five of wands on the bottom of this deck. So I do feel this is involved with, this is something that was, there was a lot of arguing, a lot of arguing going on. Okay. Can we get a clarifier? Show me why justice is here in the past. What was the justice card about? No worries, because you are you are going to be back in control of your life. No one else is going to be controlling you. I'm trying to hold it. My hand doesn't quite bend that way. We have the Eight of Wands. <coughs> I 
Eight of Wands, another wand card. Eight of Wands, fast movement. There was something that happened really fast, but it was very focused. Okay, I still want another one on that. What was the Justice, though? Eight of Wands and the Justice card. Show me clearly, please. The star. You got the star showing up. Okay, whoa. I feel like there was some judgment call that had to be made. There was something going on. And like I said, a lot of you guys, this could have been some kind of legal matter. But there were, and the star is Aquarius, so you might have been dealing with uh, Aquarius. The star is showing up, though, because there was a need to have a resolution. A resolution for you. But I still don't feel like the other person is very happy about this at this present time. Okay, let's get a clarifier on... Um, five of Pentacles, Two of Cups, yep. Yeah. So there's that partnership, right? Two of Cups typically is two people that were at one time in alignment. That's what this is about, though. This is a, re re a relationship card for me, though. So someone is unhappy with the, the, um, the judgment that was made on this decision. There was a decision made, and I feel it was in your... Be, for you, it was on your behalf. It was positive for you. The other person is still not happy with it. They don't feel like they want to. Um, the energy I'm picking up from them is like they don't want to let it go, Gemini. But nevertheless, you are moving forward. You are moving on. And you are taking your control back. Nine of Swords on the bottom. Yeah, I think this person probably has tried to threaten you a little bit. I don't know. There's something like that. They have some kind of power maybe you have children with them um and they're using the children um to try and keep tabs on you or uh, to keep you in their life there's a two of ones here for because two of ones is contemplation right it's not making a choice but it is thinking about making which choice you're going to but this is outside influence so you know it's like if someone keeps threatening you or saying, well, I'm going to get more money or we're going to go back to court, for example, because I want more money, you know, that, that kind of thing. It's like you're kind of sitting there going, I don't know which way to go. But Spirit is saying, you got to just keep following what is going to be best for you. It is going to lead you. Like the Knight of Pentacles is heading straight towards the Emperor. So you keep doing that slow, steady process. Keep moving forward. But, you know, really making sure that you are not missing anything. And it will lead you to being back in charge of your life, um, back in charge of your finances, you know, back in charge of your world and feeling um, empowered and happy. I have temperance on the bottom, Sagittarius card. So patience, it is a patient kind of card, um, but it is also about keeping yourself centered when there's chaos going on around. And with the two five of wands showing up in your reading, I do feel there was a lot of bickering, arguing, fighting, um, just drama. Okay, what else? Is there anything else for Gemini? Ooh, okay, we got two. What do we have? Wow, jeez. Cards don't even want to go back in. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords, so two Aces of Swords. You know, you also are, for, for someone out there, you might be receiving some kind of information that is really going to clear everything up for you. Hmm. Um, so Ace of Swords showing up twice, it's like there's such clarity. <clears throat> and remember, swords, this is about the um, sword of truth. So truth is going to be said. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me, Gemini. Seven of Coins came out with it too. So I, I feel like this is, with the Ace of Swords, it's like, You are really going to see how. Oh, I'm trying to get the words that they're giving me here and the energy. Because it's like you get this new, you, you get this brand new start that just feels like, oh, there's clarity in your mind and everything just feels fresh to me. But the Seven of Swords is almost like there might be a bit of hesitancy here. Hesitancy to follow through with your power, taking back your power. I'm going to need to get another card on that. Nine of Wands on the bottom. Okay, thank you. Knight of Wands. So now we have, we have so much Wands. I'm just like, wow. Okay, Ace of Cups. 
This is in reverse. So, let's see what else there is. Well, actually, they all came out in reverse. Maybe I had my deck backwards. We have the Tower, we have the Two of Swords, and we have the Page of Coins, and I do feel the Ace of Cups is going to be, I'm going to take it upright then. Okay, so, there is a huge shakeup that has happened or is going to happen. Big change, big shift. Um, two of Swords, it's like, again, I feel like with the Two of Wands and the Two of Swords, there's some hesitation here on following through. We have the page of coins showing up. So this is an offer of money. This is an offer of expansion. Um, and it is with the promise of money being good. And I can see that with the emperor. But it is also followed by the ace of cups. And I thought it came out in reverse. But no, I'm not taking it in reverse. It's like there's going to be a whole new beginning for you emotionally as well. So, you know, we've got two aces. We've got two aces of swords, one ace of wands, one ace of cups. There is a major change that is going to be happening. And however this is applying to you, Gemini, I just want to say that you will be back in control of your life. However the devil energy is playing out in your world right at this time, know and trust that everything is going to be balanced. For a lot of you, this is about a relationship that broke down. And now it is about you getting back in control of your life and you actually finding the way you want to go, the direction you want to go in, and standing firm and standing um, strong in your conviction um, and not allowing anyone to threaten you, try to freak you out, try to make you feel fearful anymore. This is about time to let go of that and time for you to move forward. Okay, I'm going to get you a, we're going to get a Moonology card and see what wants to come out. Be mindful of this energy. If you are relating to this and you're understanding what this reading is about, then you know who the devil is, what the devil is for you. Okay. Let's get one final card, Moonology, for Gemini, please. Confidence is your key to success. Okay. This is Leo. New Moon and Leo here. Yeah, you got to be really confident here because, and I think you are, Gemini. I really do think you are. Don't allow this other, this person to undermine you. You know, Father Pentacles making you feel like they're going to take everything. Mm -mm. You just stand convicted in what you know is right, what is true, what is fair, and you will end up being back in control of your life. We do have believe in the impossible, the blue moon on the bottom. So you know. No matter how much fear you may have, no matter how much this situation, this person might be trying to screw with you, um, and it can be very, very sca scary and intimidating, especially if it's about your finances, right? Um, believe in the impossible. You are going to be receiving some beautiful, beautiful things. You are going to be back in power of your life, and I feel like your finances are going to improve. The drama is going to be removed. And I feel like you're going to just feel a lot more lighter, happier. I mean, Queen of Wands with the Emperor. Now, you know, they're not necessarily a pair here. But look at the energy. You know, one card is representing your near future. The other one's representing your outcome. So however this is applying, you are going to feel really wonderful once this is all concluded. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. I hope it helped in some way, Gemini. Thank you again for being here. I truly appreciate you. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, all my love to you. Mwah. I hope you have a wonderful month. And, <clears throat> and know that everything's balancing out for you. Take care.